the Gotts vent arm is fully retracted, and we're switching control of the countdown to the onboard computers. T minus 25 seconds. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine ignition. 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have solid motor ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of America's space shuttle on its fourth mission, and we have cleared the tower. Houston now controlling mission control confirmed roll maneuver started. 20 seconds, the rough looks good. 26 seconds, roll maneuver completed. 30 seconds, one nautical mile in altitude, throttling engines down to 65% now as programmed. 36 seconds, plot board status looks good, mission control. 42 seconds, Columbia now three nautical miles in altitude. 46 seconds, coming up on create a maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. 52 seconds, Columbia now four nautical miles in altitude. 56 seconds, pass through max Q, still looking good. Throttling in, giving a go at throttle up. Mark one minute, 10 seconds, Columbia now seven nautical miles in altitude, four nautical miles downrange. One minute, 20 seconds, Columbia now nine nautical miles in altitude, six nautical miles downrange. One minute, 30 seconds, Columbia now 12 nautical miles in altitude, nine nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 3,900 feet per second. One minute, 42 seconds, coming up now on negative seats where altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Columbia, Houston, negative seats. Roger, negative seats. One minute, 57 seconds. Columbia now 21 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 21 nautical miles downrange. Two minutes, three seconds, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Roger, PC-50. Two minutes, 14 seconds, confirm solid rocket booster separation. Two minutes, 20 seconds, onboard guidance is converging as program. Columbia is now steering for a precise window in space. 600 feet, 282 knots. Into auto land guidance now. Columbia will stay in auto land guidance until uh, 2,500 feet. And Mattingly will take over at uh, 2,500 feet for the landing. Two hundred and eighty knots at uh, forty-two hundred feet. Three thousand. You're coming. You're down. Seconds away, only gears down and locked. Touchdown. Touchdown, perfect. Perfect. Columbia just under 200 miles an hour now. Outstanding. Right on, Kevin. That's a perfect one. And they're starting to break wet now. They start breaking at 130 knots. Shuttle control now. here, the unofficial landing time, seven days, one hour, nine minutes, 40 seconds. To repeat, the unofficial landing time, seven days, one hour, nine minutes, 40 seconds. Well, 
Well, this looks as though it will certainly be the shortest landing we've watched. Those brakes really did come into play very, uh, very effectively there. Uh, we'll get an official uh, reading on the landing distance, but it's obviously going to be considerably shorter than the uh, previous three. Looked like he hit the touchdown point uh, just, just about exactly on, on speed and on, on target. I introduce you, if you'll all just look, well, I'm sure down in front, maybe you can't see, but way out there on the end of the runway, the Space Shuttle Challenger, affixed atop a 747, is about to start on the first leg of a journey that will eventually put it into space in November. It's headed for Florida now, and I believe they're ready to take off. Challenger, you are free to take off now. And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you two sons of Auburn, Captain T.K. Mattingly and Colonel Hank Hartsfield. Thank you. Mr. President, you, uh, you mentioned something about people having a desire to maintain a presence in space. Not very many hours ago, I know two guys who really wanted to maintain that presence in space a while longer. <laughs> that is, uh, you never get tired of it. The most remarkable thing, besides the machine and the team that put it together, is that it's a new discovery every minute and every day. The machine we built is a first stepping stone here comes the second one. We're standing in front of its pathfinder, and there's more to come. Where we're going to go in the future is something that depends on you. tell you how proud we are of you and today as we celebrate our 206th anniversary of our independence let us remember we're a prosperous people and a strong people because we're a free people well, God bless you all and a happy 4th of July now here they come here it comes beside us and guide us through the night with a light from above, from the mountain to the prairie, to the ocean, white with foam. God bless America. you up. Happy 4th of July, and you know this has got to beat firecrackers. <laughs> <laughs>